Hey guys, welcome back. Today is gonna be like a get ready with me kind of video. Um, I'm getting ready to go out. My work is having its 10th anniversary this week and tonight's gonna be our employee party. We're gonna be getting hibachi for dinner and then we're going to the strip club. Can you believe it's been 10 years? 10 years of skulls. Um, I've kind of been getting ready all day, actually. I woke up at 5.30 this morning and I was giving myself a manicure by six o'clock. I actually spent quite a bit of time on skincare already today. Just last night, ordered 18 pieces from The Ordinary. I've been very curious about their skincare line. I just really heard about them maybe a few weeks ago. And the price point on all of their products is just so ridiculously affordable, which means that it really could be crap. The e.l.f. primer that I picked up for like five bucks did me zero favors. And Beautylish is really great because it's like you can pay kind of like on easy pay. And I did a couple of masks actually today. Um, I used the Peter Thomas Roth cucumber gel mask. Um, I used that on my beard and my neck area because um, I had a little bit of a breakout situation happening, which is probably from using self-tanner on my face and my neck. You know, it specifically says on the bottle not to use on your face, but you know, I'm a rebel. Yeah, I used the, the cucumber gel to detoxify to kind of help with uh, to help with some of this breakout situation right here, which, you know, it's a good thing I've got quite a bit of tattoo coverage right there, so you can't really tell. I use the 14 karat gold mask, which is for lifting and firming. And I kind of use that in the cheekbone area, all over the forehead. I use the Irish Moore mud mask on my nose and on my cheeks where I have pretty gigantic pores. I let all three of those masks sit on my face for about a half an hour and I used the um, the Estee Edit Pink Peony Overnight Water Pack. I mean it's overnight but you know I don't have no I don't have overnight. I have a few hours. Yeah, actually I brought that one all the way up to my lower lash line so that I could give my under eye area a lot of moisture. Um, because I'm gonna be baking my under eye area with some powder in a little bit here and I wanted to make sure that I just had a lot of uh, a lot of moisture going on there. I used the MAC fast response eye cream let that soak in for about an hour um, <laughs> lots of layers lots of time soaking in if you have a lot of time to get ready use it you know um, go ahead and do a lot of steps who cares I went over top of that with the First Aid Beauty Eye Duty Triple Remedy Eye Cream. So it depuffs, it smooths, and it's tinted. So if you have any kind of like under eye discoloration, which I typically don't, but I figure, you know, it doesn't hurt. The It Cosmetics CC Cream is what I'm using as foundation today. But I still have some, uh, I still have some self tanner that's still going on um, as a contour. It's like this area. See my previous video about that, um, but I didn't do any of like a nose contour, eyebrows, any of that kind of situation with it. I just did the perimeters of my face with the self tanner. Um, and that way I can go in with the CC cream. It's just boom, boom, done. Yeah, 10 years of skulls. It, it's crazy how fast a decade goes. I was approaching 30 when we opened 10 years ago. And now I'm very, very quickly approaching 40. Yeah, so um, hibachi for dinner and then the strip club after. This is going to be our second trip to the strip club as a family outing, if you will. Um, <laughs> on our last outing to a strip club, it was definitely as if it was definitely as if John Waters had opened a strip club. So we're all getting lap dances. And we're looking down at my friend Tim and <laughs> so Tim looks like a reindeer because the all you saw was like the back of his head and then these two legs that like stuck out like this because the uh, you know the dancer was like it was upside down I'm sure he had a he had a face full of something so our dancer who is you know old enough to be our mother definitely passed her expiration date for stripping if i'm gonna pay to get a lap dance i'd honestly rather have somebody gross in my lap than you know somebody that was you know borderline attractive because you know that's just 
That's just the kind of stuff I like to see. You know, she's your standard, stereotypical white trash mom. Um, you know, bleached, permed hair, um, lots of hairspray, just a big crunchy basket of hair. So my boss, she has a, uh, she has a nose ring as well. Um, and it's the same kind of ring that I have, so it's like a captive bead ring. Well, you know, she didn't have the bead on her, so it was just like this open-ended hook. This mom stripper is, uh, you know, she's trying to be all sexy and do one of those, like, you know, doing one of these. And she goes to pull back like this and just, just takes her face right with her because um, her, her nose ring was like caught in her hair. So they didn't have a DJ. Um, they had a jukebox on the stage or the girls, they put a quarter into the jukebox and then pick their song that they're gonna dance to and whatever. I mean, that it, it was a very quality, quality, quality establishment. And that was our last work outing together. <laughs> we don't want to see good looking strippers. We want to see the barnyard get naked. This is a, uh, this is a Mac Pro Longwear paint pot in the color Taylor Gray. I love it for blondes. It's such a cool tone. I mean, again, it's kind of like a gray color, um, but not only is this great for brows, but it's also good for a, uh, for a contour if you're, uh, if you're wanting your contour to be an actual natural shadow instead of some of the super warm tones that everybody keeps giving us as a, as a contour. Um, Urban Decay, I'm talking to you. Yeah, this one does get a little bit kind of like, it pills up a little bit. It gets a little boogery. See that? It just, it gets a little, it gets a little boogery there. I like that word booger. I have a dog named Booger. So off camera, I primed my eyes with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. And then I set that and I did my bake with the Soft Yellow Set Powder from MAC. Um, I'm gonna start with uh, Preppy by Makeup Geek. I'm gonna use that as my transition. My date tonight is an old friend of mine. We were also roommates for a short period of time. My bedroom was down in the basement and it was kind of, it was like laid out in the shape of an L. So she would go down there and, um, you know, hang out and watch TV. So I have this life-size cardboard cutout of Freddy Krueger. He kind of hung out in the back corner by the back door. I wasn't at home and I got a I got a text message. She had been down in my room watching TV and out of the corner of her eye had got startled because, you know, there's, you know, there's Freddie standing there. That gave me an idea to kind of mess with her. She had left to go to dinner with her boyfriend and I was leaving for the night. So I took the the Freddie cutout up to her room and I and I just stuck him right there in the closet. And I left for the night and just kind of waited. <laughs> Finally, the text message came and all it said was Jeremy in all uppercase letters. She said she about shit her pants. I came back home and the first thing that I saw when I opened up the front door was Freddie in a bikini on the stripper pole. <laughs> Cause yes, we had a stripper pole in our living room. I used to do my eye makeup first and then clean up the fallout and then do my foundation routine. The, you know, packing a lot of powder on there is gonna catch the fallout. And uh, I actually, I really like baking my under eye area. It seems like it would just make the area cakey and just real dry. But I feel like my skin can handle that. I feel like it can handle a lot of powder. In an hour, it just kind of looks normal anyway. I'm going in with Dominatrix now. Speaking of Jeffree Star, so his new, uh, his new summer collection came out yesterday. I was really excited about the new highlighters. 
not even that I was excited about the colors themselves, but um, I really like the packaging. I like that chrome. It's kind of like a rose gold on this packaging. I just thought it looked really cool. I saw that the that the website Beautylish actually had the entire collection as well. So I saw that they had the ordinary on Beautylish. The way that they have it set up on the Beautylish site is really nice. You know, they've got a page where you can look at all their individual products and what they do and everything. Um, you can also shop by like skin concern. You know, with me being oily and mature skin. Yep, I said it, I'm mature. I kinda did a little bit of shopping in both categories and ended up filling up a shopping cart with all that, you know, plus the Jeffree Star highlighter that I had originally gone there to look for. Um, and at some point ended up, ended up taking the highlighter out of my shopping cart um, and then had all of these products in my cart from The Ordinary. I bought 18 pieces of skincare from The Ordinary and I'm just gonna try them out. Uh, I'm gonna see how it goes. You know, sometimes I'll do a lot of research before I buy products, and sometimes you know, I just jump right in right then. I kind of was in the middle with uh, the Ordinary line, and a lot of the reviews on their products really ended up making me put more of their things in my shopping cart than I originally had. Um, and there's one product, it's kind of like a, like a topical Botox almost. But yeah, I like the Botox and I definitely like the fillers. Some of you might know that I've had my uh, I've had my lips done twice now. I have two syringes of Juvederm in my lips. I definitely would like them to be a little crazier. So now we are gonna go in with some, which is some black. This is Carbon by Mac. I'm going in with this uh, 221 brush that has. Uh, it has some dominatrix still on there and I'm gonna blur out the edges of that black eyeshadow that I put on there. I'm gonna use one of these Morphe pressed pigments um, and I depotted them so I'm not exactly sure what this one is called. Before I go in with that, I'm gonna go in with my MAC eyeliner mixing medium. Um, and I think I'm just gonna put that on my lid with my finger, just so I have something for that to really, really stick to. Uh. So the Morphe Press Pigment actually worked out really well this time. Um, you definitely have to use your finger for application. You definitely have to put it onto a sticky base. Um, it does not work with a brush. It does not work with a setting spray. Um, you can't foil it that way. It just doesn't work and the edges blend out for shit. Um, you definitely want to just kind of keep it on the lid and soften up the edges with another eyeshadow. Um, I don't know if all of the Morphe eyeshadows work this way, but the pressed pigments that I purchased, they're all the same. Um, they're, really, they're very pretty once you're able to get them on, um, but don't think you're ever blending that out. It's never going to happen. And if anybody could point me in the right direction of a tutorial on how to fix my lighting situation, leave that in the comment section below. As you'll see in all my videos, the light fluctuates from like super bright white to kind of a warm yellowy tone and back again. And it really just seems to be an issue and I can't figure out how to fix that problem. I'm a total amateur here, so any help with that would be highly appreciated. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and finish everything else up off camera. I'll be right back with the final look. So this is the final look and the end of this tutorial. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, tell all your friends about it, and I'll see you on the next one.